The Data Dart Dead Eye Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. I have an amazing video planned for you today. One of the nicer sets of data darts I've ever seen, if not the nicest set of data darts I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the data dart dead eye darts. Now, for those of you that might not be aware, a dead eye is when you hit all three darts inside the bullseye. I prefer the term triple bullseye, but yeah, dead eye works just as well. So I picked these up probably about a month ago at Darts Corner, they, were, uh, they weren't the cheapest things ever. I think I paid somewhere right around $65, something like that, maybe a little bit less. Kind of depends on the uh, currency exchange. I'll have a link down below in the pinned comment. We'll take you over to Darts Corner. You can check them out there. But um, yeah, wow, what an amazing set of darts. I can't wait to share these things with you. Now, there's a specific reason I bought this set. I mean, other than I thought they looked really cool. However, Going back, man, it must have been about three or four months before last Christmas, Danny Baggish posted this set of darts. Supposedly they were the um, Danny Baggish Gen 2 darts. Now, if you look at the design on those and then you kind of compare them to these, man, they look very, very similar. Now, Target never ended up making those darts. I don't know what happened, but yeah, they never did make them, but all of a sudden now Data Dart came out with this set of darts. So I don't know if there's any coincidence there. Who knows? But all I know is that this is an amazing set of darts and Target really missed out launching the uh, Danny Baggis Gen 2s. So uh, yeah, let's grab the other camera guys. We'll get right into it. Stats and dimensions, close up look. I'll give these things a grip rating. And oh, for, uh, I forgot to mention, perfect match weight as well. So yeah, quality here, as good as it can possibly get. So uh, let's get right into it, guys. It's going to be a good one. Here we go. Okay, guys, can't wait to show these things to you. We have the Data Dart Dead Eye, fairly typical cardboard hand case. Always nice to see that as well. 95% tungsten. I'll show you the back. I suppose you can pause the video right there and read all of that if you want, but they've been around for quite a while 45 years. So there's the packaging. And now for what you came to see the Data Dart Dead Eyes. Look at those things. Super nice set of darts here. Straight barrel. Seven, let me say, yeah, seven multi or twin ring grips up front with the blue metallic coating. We got the smooth section with the Data Dart logo in the middle. And then on the back end, I'm not even really sure what you'd call that type of grip. I mean, they look like hollowed out rectangles, but I tell you what, really nice feel to these things. So there's the barrel. The stem, check this out, guys. Super long stem, 49 millimeters long, not including the threads. So that makes these the longest stems I've ever seen on a stock set of darts out of the package. Again, 49 millimeters long. And on the back end, we have the standard size Data Dart Flights. Those are a nice bright white. And there's the darts. Wow, super nice. But what do you say we get into the next clip? And I'll hit you with all these stats and dimensions I can think of. Here we go. Wow, I tell you what, that is just a great looking set of darts. Let me know what you think, but Data Dart has definitely knocked it out of the park with this set. Now, probably the only negative you're going to hear from me in this video, these come with a, I don't know, something like a 30 millimeter black coated point, of which only 25 millimeters is sticking out of the front of the barrel. Super short points. I would 100% recommend you repoint these things with something a little bit longer anyway. I mean, 25 millimeters, that's that's probably one of the shortest points I've seen on a stock set of darts. Now, the barrels getting this good stuff. Those are 95% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 51 millimeters even. And the barrel width, a super skinny, 6 millimeters wide. And these are a straight barrel dart. Now, I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth, drilled out a very shallow 8.9 millimeters deep. Now, the match weighting, you guys saw these were advertised as 22 grams. And guess what? They get their own special video clip, so you know what that means, right? Here we go. Okay, guys, pretty amazing. It looks like we have perfect match weight. At least it was the first time around, so I'm just checking all the stats and dimensions. I put this, the, uh, the barrels on the scale. All three darts came out at 22 grams even. However, can I duplicate that on video? I guess that's the important part, right? I mean, these scales are just so sensitive that sometimes they'll read one one hundredth of a gram off or if you drop your dart on the scale and screw it up 
Oh, hey, look at that. Advertises 22 grams, all three barrels, spot on 22 grams. So that is rather impressive. Very rare as well. I know we've been seeing this a lot here on the channel, but um, yeah, to match the exact advertised weight, spot on within, I mean, just that's as perfect as it gets. Totally blown away. So wow, well done, Data Dart. That's absolutely amazing to see, and uh, I just get a kick out of it every time I see it. So again, well done, Data Dart. Wow. Okay, now for the surprising part of the video, and I say it's surprising because I'm not sure if the grip level kind of shows through on video. I mean, if you're looking at these things, well, I mean, you are watching the video. What would you guess the grip level to be on a scale of one to five? Would you be surprised to find out that these are incredibly smooth to the touch? Yeah, these things aren't grippy at all. The twin ring grip up front, rather smooth to the touch. I'd say the front end of the barrels gets like a grip level two. The back end of the barrels, ever so slightly more grippy, probably like a 2.2 on a scale of one to five. And oddly enough, this smooth section in the middle, and I know a lot of you guys out there bitch about the smooth section on a set of darts, but you honestly cannot feel that smooth section. I mean, everything blends together so well. Yeah, you can't feel that smooth section at all, which is, I don't know, I find that kind of odd. But yeah, level two grip up front, level 2.2 in the back. And again, my only complaint really is the uh, short points, 25 millimeter points sticking out of the barrel. And if you're gonna repoint these things, you might as well get rid of this lip as well. Got a nice little lip on the front end. That's just gonna end up destroying your flights. And if you use expensive molded flights, you don't want that happening. So highly 1010 recommend you repoint these things. And I think if you do that, you have a near perfect set of darts. Wow, these things are nice. I'm really curious to see how they're gonna fly with these 49 millimeter stems. I mean, those things are long. So 51 there, 49 here, wow. But uh, I'm gonna throw them, as you see, I'm completely stocked. So let's get them on the board, see how they fly. Here we go. Okay guys, I was just having a quick warm up here. Probably been playing for about five minutes or so. I did want to mention a couple things before we start. Now the darts, 100% stock, exactly as they came out of the package. But yeah, there's two things I want to talk about here. The first one, you guys know, they weigh 22 grams. They don't feel 22 grams to me at all. They are definitely just one of those sets of darts or barrels that feels a little bit lighter than what it is. So I don't really have any explanation for it, but yeah, they, um, if you handed me these darts, I would say, whoops, I would probably say, oh, I gotta bend over and get that. <clears throat> 20 grams, 21 grams, maybe, but certainly I would never guess 22 grams. Now, the other thing with the 49 millimeter stems, I mean, they're, the stability of them is great. They're getting to the board, they're tracking straight. They just seem really slow, just slow motion getting to the board. I, again, I don't really have an explanation for that either, but... I mean, I would normally play with probably an intermediate, so somewhere around, I don't know, 40, 41 millimeters. Ooh, third dart. So, uh, yeah, that's the only two things I have. They, they feel lighter than 22 grams, and then these stems, man, they really seem to slow things down for me anyway. So I guess what we're going to do now, we'll go back to the checkouts. We'll do um, five turns of the checkouts. I'll put them... Um, Right up here, 41, 51, 61, 71, and 81 will be the five checkouts for today. We'll see how this goes. Now, 41, obviously, you have a couple options. You can go one tops, you can go nine to the double 16. Doesn't really matter at all. Kind of whatever you prefer. Whoa, that one got away from me. wire with that second dart <clears throat> but yeah man they're throwing really really well love these barrels they're gonna work great for front grippers and you gotta trust me on this one even middle grippers and I know there's a lot of you that are gonna be like hey that smooth section is right where I grip guys you just can't you cannot feel it on this set of darts you just you can't so they're gonna work incredibly well for middle grippers and of course rear grippers as well a little bit more grip in the rear my grip, I think I'm pretty much, yeah, you know what? I'm right on that smooth section. 
I can't tell. I can't tell that it's there. So anyway, 51. Rookie mistake here. A lot of people are going to play the 19s. What's going to happen there? A little bit of adrenaline going through the veins. You're going to throw the dart high, hit the treble 19, bust your turn. All I got to say, guys, with some of these lower numbers like 50, 51, 52, don't risk busting your shot. So 51 remaining, you want to go 11 for tops. I've seen so many players go with the 19s, and what do they do? They plunk one right in the treble 19. Just don't risk it when you don't have to. You know, if the opponent is way back, then, you know, sure, go for it. But otherwise, there's really no sense in busting your shot. Third, dart saver. <laughs> Yeah, same thing with 50, don't go 18s, 51, avoid the 19s, 52, don't go 20s, unless, of course, the opponent is way the heck back there. Now, 51, 61, I like to go the bullseye. I'm pretty good at bullseyes, so hopefully I'll miss and hit a 25. Always seem to hit the bullseye when you don't want to, though, right? Just seems how that works. Yeah, I like to go 25 to leave 36. And that way you get two darts at a double, which I promptly missed both of them. Anyway, at least I got a couple opportunities there. 71, couple options there. Treble 13 to leave double 16. You can go with the 17 to leave double 10, which, hey, I did hit that on the previous turn, so let's try that. Treble 17 from 71. What's that leave? 54, right in the middle of the bed. Don't miss the big number. And try to hit tops. I missed. Just about a millimeter high. All right, 81. Can I pick off this one? I like to go the common route, treble 19 to double 12. You can go treble 15. That works equally as well to leave double 18. Although that double 18 doesn't break down well. So we'll be going treble 19. And I hit it. Ah, oh, man, my arm is weak. Ah, X. <laughs> All right, well, hey, there's my attempts. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Obviously, they didn't today. What was that, two, two for five? I guess that's not too terrible, but I would have at least, at least liked to get three. So anyway, I've rambled on long enough. It's pretty hot in here. It is... 28 Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I have no idea. But um, hey, there's the darts. I'd love to spend more time with these things in the upcoming week. Man, I tell you what, just an awesome, awesome set of darts. But um, let's roll into the next clip. We've got the 180, and I'll give these things a recommendation, and we are out of here. Let's go! say come on that's a tight group right first dart second dart there's the third looks like we had a little left to right action so hey I guess that's gonna pretty much do it for the video I still gonna give these things a recommendation but yeah I hope you enjoyed the review of the data dart dead eyes if you did thumbs up always appreciated and again reminder Link to Darts Corner down below in the pinned comment. You can check them out there. Hopefully pick yourself up a set. So now's the time where I give these things a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for your recreational dart player. I got to say, almost a perfect set of darts, isn't it? Other than you got to give these things a repointing. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to use these 49 millimeter long stems, but an easy way to dial them in, just replace the points, maybe use your own stems and flights. And man, you got a great set of darts. They come in 22 grams, which these were perfect weight, by the way, 24 grams and 26 grams. So that covers a huge spectrum right there. The only thing I'm going to ding them on is price. These things were whatever, 60, I think they're, I think they're like 63 or $64. It fluctuates a little bit. 
Time you add in shipping, you're looking to rate around 70 US dollars. I mean, they are 95% tungsten. They are an incredible set of darts, just a little bit expensive. So that's really the only place I'm gonna ding them. I'm gonna give these a recommendation of, ready for this one? 9.1 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. Let me know what you guys think, if you think it's a fair score or not, but that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Man, what a great, great set of darts. I think I might keep these ones. I say that a lot though, don't I? We'll see you on the next video. Later. Why you think they call